Our civilization has gone through many important changes, such as the discovery of fire, the development of the wheel, languages, religion, the industrial revolution, and technology. Now we are moving into a new age of mind and spirit. The next major event in history will be open contact with life forms from other worlds. We will finally take our position in the family of beings in the universe. This event has already started, but as in many historic changes, it is first known only to a few before it becomes known to the masses. The timing of this event is particularly important since our current civilization is in the beginnings of a transformation into a state of higher consciousness that will forever change the way we live on Earth. We have been contacted by extraterrestrials from a small cluster of stars, circled the Pleiades. The inhabitants, the Pleiadians, are a race that looks similar to us. They have advanced thousands of years beyond us in technology and spiritual understanding. They are stimulating our consciousness through the dissemination of information so that we can make the necessary changes to create a new world based on solemn. A Pleiadian word meaning peace and wisdom for the coming new age on Earth. We are fortunate that the Pleiadian visitors have chosen to gently awaken us to the knowledge of their existence. Pleiadians come from the planet Era, near the star to Jeddah and are the extraterrestrials that most resemble humans. According to sources, the Pleiadians allegedly inhabit a number of planets within the Pleiades star system, including planets by the names of Ptah, Quetzal, and Semgis. With Era current serving as a home planet for the Pleiadians, the Pleiades star system is made up of ten planets which rotate around their sun, Era is described as being slightly smaller than Earth, and with the Pleiadians' current technology, it takes around 7 hours to travel the 420 light years to Earth. There is a Swiss farmer by the name of Billy Meyer, who is apparently the Pleiadians' contact on Earth. He has been contacted over 130 times by the Pleiadians. His first contact was with a female Pleiadian named Sam G's. These multiple contacts occurred between 1976 and 1982, with Billy physically meeting with his Pleiadian contact ha, numerous times, although he was initially contacted telepathically. The recurring theme with the Pleiadians seems to be that their goal is to help humans reach a new stage of evolution which focuses heavily on spirituality. According to Billy Meyer and other sources, the Pleiadians have explained that they have been here long ago and always intended on returning. Apparently, the Pleiadians first discovered our planet in 225,000 BC. And after conferring with the Galactic Federation, they were given the go-ahead to land on our planet and interact with us. The Pleiadians explained that they worked intimately with humans between 196,000 BC and 10 AD. They aided in the development of ancient civilizations such as the Mayans, the Incas, the Lemurians, and some unknown civilization. According to the Pleiadian records of their history with our planet, the last Pleiadian leader to leave Earth was in 10 AD and went by the name of Gabriel. Apparently, the reason for the Pleiadians leaving Earth was because they wanted to give humans the chance to evolve down their own paths. However, they did leave one Pleiadians behind. An entity by the name of Jmanuel. This Jmanuel was a powerful spiritual leader who possessed a soul that had evolved far beyond that of humans. Jmanuel was the son of Gabriel and the daughter of Lyran, called Mary. 
Some circles believe this to be the true origin of Jesus. Legend tells that the Pleiadians will soon return to aid humans on their spiritual path, possibly at the time of a major crisis. The combined information garnered from Billy Myers' contacts and other sources allow us to gain a brief understanding of the Pleiadian people. The Pleiadians are a very spiritual group and are powerful telepaths. The Pleiadians also possess technology that is way more advanced than our known technology today. The planet Era is said to be home to around 400,000 Pleiadians. This number may seem small for a planet not much smaller than Earth. However, the Pleiadians believe this is the perfect balance for the health of both their people and the planet. The Pleiadians have no currency and distribute goods freely based on contribution to society. And due to their telepathic nature, they have no medical problems and can live to around 700 years. In contrast to the life of a human, the Pleiadians spend their first 10 years learning about their place in the universe and the next 80 of becoming a master of a specific trade. Essentially, their life is just starting as a human lay on their deathbed. Cherokee legend states that their people originated in the Pleiadian star clusters and they came to this world as star seeds of light and knowledge. If this legend is so, then modern-day Cherokee Indians, as well as other Native Americans, have Pleiadian genes. Pleiadians have kept a record of the complete history of Earth's human evolution from the very beginning to our present time. They claim the Earth is 626 billion years old. The Pleiadians are of a fifth-dimensional frequency, which is one of love and creativity, a goddess society, which worships family, children, and women. Francis Crick and his partner, James Watson, startled the academic world in 1953 when they deciphered the structure of the DNA molecule. Dr. Francis Crick concluded extraterrestrial origins in the human genome in relation to his well-renowned DNA research. The novel Price scientist developed a research which proves that there are genes from over 20 extraterrestrial civilizations in the human DNA. Dr. Sella and his team of exoscientists indicate that our planet was colonized by extraterrestrial races, including human, insectual, botanical, and reptilian species. The land continents that first supported advanced human colonies were Lemuria and Atlantis. Dr. Sella and other associated researchers confirm the existence of extraterrestrials who can easily integrate with human society as being from star systems such as Lyra, Sirius, Procyon, Tau Ceti, Andromeda, and Arcturus. These extraterrestrials have also provided some of the genetic material for the seeding of humanity. Exoscientists claim that the Pleiadians are our far distant, first cousins and ancestral forebearers of some of our races. They claim that Pleiadians have been visiting our planet for at least 79,743 years. The Pleiadians are also descendants of the Lyrans who would send down scout teams consisting of scientists, engineers, and agricultural specialists who would explore the surface of possible habitable planets and return the data and information to the mothership. The planet Earth was one of them. Each planet was explored and based upon its unique nature, colonies were then sent down to settle. It is in this way that the Pleiadians are so interested in our world and the humanity on Earth. Pleiadian technology has made it possible to travel anywhere in our universe at speeds faster than the speed of light. They are capable of using the oceans on our planet for undersea operations. Pleiadians are very concerned about the misuse for our sciences today on Earth.
and are worried that we will destroy our planet and ourselves. They are concerned that we have completely lost our spiritual center and harmony with our sciences. Pleiadians have no use for money, politics, religious rituals, and doctrines, which are used by manipulative elites on Earth. Pleiadians have left descendants on the Earth in the past and are willing to help us, but not to the point of changing our evolution and becoming responsible for our race. Earth must create its own future and either correct our mistakes or suffer because of them. In contrast with the elite-driven greed on Earth, the Lyran extraterrestrials, which seeded the Earth, were inspired by a consciousness associated with spirituality that grounded their sciences into humanistic dimensions of service to the greater good with a collective consciousness of love, peace, and wisdom. If they suddenly filled the skies with their spacecraft or landed on the White House lawn, the majority of the people of Earth would probably fall into panic and confusion. Others would worship them or expect them to bring us the long-awaited peace. Governments might fall or lose control as people began to think of themselves as Earth citizens rather than of any particular country. Reactions would vary, but one thing is for sure, the Earth would never be the same because the knowledge that they bring about science, life, and philosophy could have a devastating effect on our social, economic, religious, and political structures. Too much information, too fast, could overwhelm a world. As our neighbors from another world come to visit, it can also be a wonderful time of discovery. There is the possibility to learn from them, change the way we live on Earth, and create real peace among men. Their knowledge can be used to enlighten our world so that we can resolve the differences that separate us here on Earth and prepare us to fit in with the universal family of man on other worlds. Up to now, the many different races on Earth have been unsuccessfully trying to learn to live together and come to terms with their many different ideologies and social customs. Through contact with the Pleiadians, we are forced to examine ourselves through the revelations of a higher intelligence and hopefully move to a new level of awareness that can facilitate the peaceful coming together of the many nations on Earth. As we move out into the cosmos, we will come in contact with other races that live differently than we live. They may have mannerisms and customs we will not even understand. How exciting would be to peer into the future, 50 years from now, and see all of the wonderful changes Earth will go through as we come into contact with beings from other worlds. The biggest event in our history is unfolding before us right now.